Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep liking, commenting, sharing, watching everything that you guys do. Never goes unnoticed. We're very, very um, grateful. Hope you guys are doing right and may you stay blessed. Suggest something down below, anything, anything that you can think of, just suggest it down below and I'll be more than glad to check it out and react to it. Hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. Uh, find us on Facebook and Instagram as Funny and Jesse. Head there, say hi, we'll say hi back. Our vlogging channel, Funny and Jesse 2.0. Subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. So today I'm going to be reacting to Ami Did That Answer. Jesus said he is Alpha and Omega the first and the last so without wasting time let's get into the video mr. Didet, in the book of Re revelation jesus claims that i am the first and the last and also he said i am alpha and omega and the beginning and the end if christ was not god how could he make such a claim The book of Revelation, scholars will tell you, was a dream of John. It was a dream which he has put down on paper. These are what people hear, if at all, that if Jesus appeared to him, to John, and told him, I am Alpha and Omega, if he did, which I do not believe, they are talking about God Almighty, that God is saying, I am Alpha and Omega. I am the first and the last, not Jesus. But suppose you put these words into the mouth of Jesus, according to your translations. Even then, a dream. You know, a people, when they eat a bit too much, it happens you dream dreams. Things that you see. And you read this book of Revelation, describing to you certain beasts with eyes outside and eyes inside. And you know, something which absolutely you have eaten too much, you start thinking in those terms. So, I said, now, while Jesus walked this earth, we have to now understand that while he walked this earth, in none of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, is the expression ever used, I am God, or worship me. On the contrary, he says, my Father is greater than I. He says, my Father is greater than all. He says, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is righteous, because I seek not my own will, but the will of him that sent me. He says, of that day knoweth no man, no, not the angels, nor the Son, but the Father in heaven. In my knowledge I am not like God. In my power I am not like God. He says, all power is given unto me, it is not mine. I by the finger of God cast out devils. I by the Spirit of God do these things. Where does he say that he is doing the works? That it is his power, he is doing it, nowhere. And Peter testified in the quotation that uh, the doctor gave. Peter in the book of Acts testifies. He says, ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you. A man, not God approved among you. A man. He quoted it, but of course the quotation went off such like water and ducks back. You people hardly apprehended anything. He says, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him. He didn't do it, which God did by him in the midst of you, which you also know. I said, look, we agree with that. The Quran testifies to that effect that he gave life to the dead by God's permission. He healed those blind and the lepers by God's permission. We agree with that. But I said, look, now your interpretation, your reading, you are reading into your own scripture something that is not there and which is contrary to what Jesus claimed. He's teaching us his come. I'll teach you how to pray. It's a prayer like this. So, oh, our Father which art in heaven. Our Father, yours and mine, including Judas. Not the Father of Jesus Christ in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Singular. Thy name. Thy will be done. Thy, as, as, in, as it is on earth, as it is in heaven. Where does he say I'm God? Where does he say worship me? Nowhere. Nowhere. It is something now, like I just heard on TV, the program of Brother Jimmy Swaggart. Uh, he's giving some lessons on TV and at the end of that lesson on Babylon One of his panel members. He says, you know, I've been to Mongolia I just been to Mongolia and There is I went to a Buddhist temple and there the supervisor while he was with me I'm asking him that this 
wheel, prayer wheel, on which you people are pinning in your prayers in written form, and you turn the wheel. What for? He says, no, this is now, we are asking in this form, asking Buddha for help. But he said, look, I read so many books on Buddha, nowhere does Buddha claim to be God. Nowhere. This is one of our panel members of Jimmy Swaggart says, no one says that, Jesus, that Buddha is God. He says, nowhere. He says, yes, that is true, but we say he is God. We make him God. This is the same. What he is talking, laughing at the Buddhist, I said, my brother, you are in the same boat. You are doing the very same thing. Brothers and sisters, I want you to acknowledge really these two fine champions, two wonderful gentlemen for sharing their valuable time and their energies with us tonight. However you want to acknowledge them. Thank you very much. My favorite part of this video is actually the ending of where they appreciate the both of them. I don't even know who the other guy is, but you know, you actually have to appreciate people for the time that they um, give to you or spend having a chat with you. And, um, but then it still doesn't answer. I feel like this video still didn't answer what was meant by Alpha and Alpha and Omega first and last you know uh what exactly does that mean yes jesus is not god but to someone who really believes jesus is god this says i am god you know but nowhere in the bible does it say the actual words i am god so what was this supposed to mean what was it supposed to mean when jesus said i am alpha and omega first and last I'm still trying to think what this could possibly mean. Was he the first messenger? No. Was he the last messenger? If you're Muslim, then no. If you're Christian, then maybe. You know? So first at what? Is what I'm trying to understand. First at what? Alpha and Omega when it comes to what? Is what I'm trying to really understand here um i know many people are going to go down the route or route of saying it means he is god but then if we put that one aside let, let's just eliminate that one for conversation's sake what could he have possibly meant if we remove the i am god part that may be associated with this statement if we remove that part what else could this statement have meant back then now and what is it going to mean in the future you know um for conversation's sake if anyone has a better understanding of this or whatever point of view you look at this from let me know down below i'd really really love to hear people conversate or explain what this means to them you know and what um this point exactly this statement exactly how much weight it holds because it's quite big it's quite ambiguous you know i don't think one statement can explain this there is some figurative thing going on here that i'm trying to understand i'm still not getting it but if you understand it let me know down below just give me your explanation i really really love getting other people's points of view just to see how they understand or where they stand um if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below just give me the name or the link and i'll be sure to check it out make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video